Greetings. It's faulty LED lamp time again. This time we have an Energizer 12.5 watt, 1521 lumen LED lamp. And this one didn't just go pop, it was actually damaged. Um, I believe the gentleman was trying to swat a fly and managed to swat his lamp instead. And as you can see now, it's not very happy. It's drawing so little power, my Atlas 7 will not read it. And the Belkin is showing it's drawing about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 watts. So let's see if I can spudge it open with this special steak spudger and, uh, and see if we can figure out what's gone wrong. And may as well trace out the schematic while we're at it. Oh, the steak spudger worked well and reveals a board with a board through inside. I hadn't even realised. With that close up it will have shown what's gone wrong on it and it's this LED. One of the LEDs is tracked. How on earth has it done that? It's just flashed right over the LED and caused it to fail. Further down then we have this metal base. Let's see if we can pry this out. I think I need my tin opener to open this thing. And that's the board. Let's trace it out. And here's the schematic. 19 LEDs which when I tested with the component tester didn't come up with any results and it turns out it's because they're 9 volt LEDs. Presumably each one is 3 LEDs in series. Testing them on a bench supply showed that I could actually light them. Unfortunately I did manage to pop another one because the current limiting on the bench supply is to the input of the smoothing capacitor, not the output of the power supply. So when I connected it, it managed to put a high voltage pulse in and zap another one of the LEDs. The chip, unfortunately, I can't find any data sheets for, nor can I find any data sheets of any chips which look like they're wired like this one. A lot of these 7-pin driver chips share the same pinouts. There's a handful of different pinouts you, you tend to come across, and they quite often have pin 7 as the high voltage input and is connected basically straight to the rectified supply. That's not the case here, and I can't find any others with this sort of pinout. So there's not really much I can say about that. Other than the circuit looks pretty standard in terms of what I've seen when looking at other LED drivers. A lot of them have this same layout, either with a separate MOSFET or, as you can see here, with the MOSFET integrated into the driver chip. So the driver chip is basically pulsing one end of L2, which is causing it to induce a voltage, and that's getting passed via D1 back around the LEDs and around and around we go. Notice there are two resistors across C1, which are presumably to partly to uh, to discharge C1, but I think it's also to make sure the LEDs shut down relatively quickly. But what there isn't is a discharge resistor across C3. But presumably, the chip will just keep on drawing as much power as it can, even after the mains is off, and will quickly discharge that capacitor to the point where it's a relatively safe voltage anyway. Not that I'm going to stick my finger in and find out, because I could be wrong. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, I've bridged out the LED, plus I've also bridged out the other LED that I killed. Incidentally, what I think has happened here is the LED failed open circuit, but the constant current regulator has then tried to maintain that current and maxed out the its voltage output, really. So it's kept flashing across that LED, causing the pulsing that we saw as it's basically zapping its way across and keeps going open circuit and then building up zapping again. So I think that's what's happened. So, but bridging the defective LEDs, is that enough to fix the fitting? Is all I needed to do, pry this cap off, short out the LED that had gone defective, and then glue the cap back on? You want me to find out? Yes. Yes, that's all it needed. This is now drawing 13.4 watts and I'm not going to touch the board, but yeah, if I hadn't chewed the rest of the casing up, that would be a working bulb once more. So, 
that's all I've got for you today. It was broke. I broke it some more. I fixed it a little bit, but it's still broke. Thanks for watching.